welcome or welcome back to my channel and today i wanted to do something a little different for you guys i know i haven't done a sit down video in a minute so today we're gonna be getting into that if you haven't noticed 2023 is already out the window by the time you see this it might already be 2024 or it might still be 2023 as long as you see this video that's all that matters in today's video we're gonna be discussing 12 things that need to be left where in 2023 before anything else go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe because i'm your favorite girl up if you're new here my name is malika my and if you're returning hey girl up i don't have a specific order with these but you will catch me looking at my ipad here and there first things first okay we need to go ahead and leave krishan rock Blueface, Jaden, carlissa the whole family we need to leave the whole circus in 2023 we really should have left them in 2022 but i'm so tired friends i don't know about you i'm so tired of seeing their faces anytime i see their face anytime i see an account post them i block them immediately i mute it immediately because i'm over it i'm so tired of just seeing nonsense let's just go ahead and leave them in 2023 please let's stop giving them attention let's stop giving them all of this energy can we stop adding fuel to the fire like let's please let it die out male podcast male podcasts should have never been a thing there's no value being added to these communities okay especially the black men i'm sorry but i'm not sorry y'all get on here oh oh the 50 50 debate and i'm gonna get into that in a second but oh men and women they need to be 50 50 oh um i can't go for what y'all need to be talking about is how can we better these young men? How can we inspire them? How can we motivate them? How can we get them out of the streets? How can we stop allowing our young men to kill each other? How can we stop allowing these drugs to come into our community? How can we stop allowing? These are the conversations that need to be had. How can we learn to build our community up instead of degrading women mainly black women instead of being homophobic that's a whole nother conversation which i'll get into later but it's like there's no value being added in these male podcasts you guys have been holding these conversations since high school and now that you have some type of money and some type of platform now you guys want to open these conversations up okay got it pack it up and leave it in 2023 since i did mention 50 50 debates we need to go ahead that needs to stop being brought up oh what do you have to offer what do you have it needs to be 50 50 it needs to be okay at this point if you want it to be 50 50 that's fine stop going to other people and saying that it needs to be 50 50. if you want your relationship to be 50 50 that's fine say that me personally i don't want my relationship to be 50 50. it needs to be 100 and 100. i'm gonna give 100 percent, and my man needs to give 100 percent there is no 50 50 i'm sorry that's just so childish why are we still talking about this every other TikTok that i see what do you think about a man wanting to do the 50 50 thing or how do you feel about a man asking to split the bill if a man wants to split the bill that's not the man for me there's some men out there that want to split the bill if you want to split the bill go be with a man that splits the bill okay if you want to be with a man that goes half on your bills go be with a man that's half on your bills there needs to stop being this ongoing debate on topics that we've already talked about like okay we get it we have it what's the solution how can we solve the problem at this point i'm tired of hearing it's just a whole bunch of nonsense pack it up leave it in 2023 creating beef when there isn't leave it in 2023 i had somebody the other day not too long ago maybe a couple weeks ago they hit up my phone wanting me to come support them when i told them oh you know i'm not really mm -mm. then they're gonna get mad at me and then go off on me talking about oh girl uh, da, 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 da. i see your true colors i'm not gonna da, 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 da. you <laughs> first of all ma'am you hit up me to come support you there was no beef we just stopped talking that's it why are we creating this thing if you grow apart that's it there's no beef people just naturally grow apart especially in today's world time is moving so fast you feel like you don't even have enough to do in your 24 hours you feel like there's not even really 24 hours in your day i'm too caught up and worried about myself to worry about you i don't know am i wrong am i wrong please let me know in the comments don't create beef where there doesn't need to be covid really needs to just be left 
in 20 where whenever covid started covid just needs to be left back there please i don't even know what to say i'm still hearing that people get covid my mom just got covid i'm like really how nowadays i just really feel like people just have the flu people just have a cold and now it's just coming out as COVID. literally look at the symptoms flu like symptoms cold like symptoms so you're meaning to tell me i just have a heightened cold I have a heightened flu I don't know it's just it doesn't make sense to me pack it up and leave it in 2023 i don't want to hear no more COVID in 2024 in 2024 we really need to leave people that drain your energy in the past if you're not bringing me good energy and if you're taking all of my energy if you're an energy vampire you need to be over there to the side left in the past in the dumpster i'm not doing that I don't have time for you to drain all of my energy, for you to just sit here and dump all of this trauma on me, dump all of this drama. I don't have time for it. If you're not wholeheartedly coming to check on me and just really see how I'm doing and just for us to really connect and see what's in the future for us, then I don't want it. Do not sit up here and drain all of my energy, being negative, being an energy vampire. Don't do it. You're gonna get blocked so fast. Don't do it. Non-reciprocated energy. If you are not reciprocating the same energy that I'm giving out, you're done. And that goes for family, that goes for friends. 2024, I'm not doing it. We need to leave it in the past, friends, so should you. If you wanna talk to me, then you can talk to me. But I'm not willingly reaching out unless we're really like that. Lustful energy, lust itself, it needs to be left in the past. I know a lot of people don't even really wanna talk about this, but I feel the need to bring this up because there's too many stories of infidelity and cheating and da 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 da. The reason why you're getting cheated on, man or woman, is because that person has not let that lustful energy go. That person still has this energy inside them to where, okay, well, I'm married to you, but ooh, I cannot beat this temptation. You gotta beat that energy. You gotta talk to God. You gotta pray about it. Because the only thing that's gonna beat lust is prayer and fasting. Really, really hard inner work. If you wanna grow as a person in 2024 and so on, you need to leave that lust in the past. Asking for money. If you're asking me for money in 2024, you're automatically blocked. If you're not an immediate family member, you're automatically blocked what makes you think i have money and then why haven't you asked your mom your dad your grandma your gra you're coming to me asking me for money i'm highly offended do you not know what's going on in the world right now inflation the government sending all of our money to you know who taxes what why are you asking me for money this is what really gets me, y'all. This is what really gets me. You're asking me for money, but you don't ever call. You don't ever text. You don't check up. You don't come visit. But out the blue, you want to just be like, hey, can I borrow $40? I know that can't be for a good reason. $40? $200? $80? You're a grown man. Why are you asking me for $80? You don't have it yourself? You're a grown man. Why are you asking me for gas money? Mm, okay if somebody asks y'all for money don't respond block them immediately immediately they're blocked we need to really leave all the liars leave them leave them why are you still lying you are more than consciously aware of what you were doing and you're gonna sit up here and just flat out lie like i don't understand that. i i cannot do with liars but when i just encounter a liar and then i know you're lying and then i know that you know that i know that you're lying just get away from me because you're doing too much if you have receipts of them lying on more than two occasions pack it up i feel like i should have added more stuff there's just a couple more things that i'm now thinking about and i'm just like ooh, men in skinny jeans why are they so skinny? What happened to the regular pants? If you have to point your toe to get into your jeans, they're too tight. Y'all wear these tight ass shirts, then you're gonna sag your skinny jeans below your booty, which is weird. And then you wear these big ass Air Force Ones. That's not cute to me. I'd rather see stacked jeans than skinny jeans on men. You're wearing skinny jeans and you're 35? I might get some pushback, I might not. 
We need to leave the homophobia in the past. I really don't understand why people are so homophobic unless you're gay yourself. I truly, genuinely don't understand it. You want to like girls as a girl, that's fine. If you want to like guys as a guy, that's fine. You want to know why? Because it has nothing to do with me. And this is mainly the guys. Like I'm really talking to the guys because y'all make everything homophobic. Guys can't eat bananas the right way because it's, oh, it's gay. Oh, bro, like, bro, I'm eating a banana. Why is that gay? I can't get a manicure and have clear polish because it's gay. Bro, it's called maintenance. And it be the most gayest DL men of them all. That'd be the most homophobic. Please pack it up and leave it in the past. If it has nothing to do with you, leave it alone. Why are you so concerned? I don't understand. You know what, I really just thought about it. I think I'm gonna add two more things on this list, y'all. If you stayed to this part of the video, I wanna say thank you so much. I love you guys so much. Something in me needs to add these two things. The colorism slash preference conversation. Pack it the fuck up. If your preference is to go with light-skinned women, or a white woman or Hispanic woman or Asian, that's fine. Nobody cares, but stop making it an issue. Like black women are upset. The only thing that it's doing is just making the relationship between the black man and the black woman go far, farther and farther apart, okay? What we really need to be doing is finding a solution for black women and black men to have some common ground and respect each other. Even if they don't wanna date each other, we still need to respect each other enough to not degrade each other and talk so bad about each other. Cause y'all don't see other communities doing that. This is what needs to be brought up in these podcasts. Instead of the 50-50 debates, instead of preferences, instead of how much a man makes and how much a woman makes, we need to stop talking about that. My last and final thing that we need to leave in 2023 is hatred for black women. We need to pack it up and leave it in the past. I genuinely wish everybody can just stop hating so much on the black woman. We already deal with so much, but it's just like the ongoing conversations. I think it's just internalized hatred. Stop hating black women. What it is is you hate your mom, you hate your grandma, you hate your auntie. Hate them, but don't hate all black women. Okay, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really had to make this video before 2023 was over. I just felt it was so necessary for me to talk about some of these topics that a lot of people are afraid to talk about. Guess what, baby? I'm gonna bring it up. I'm gonna address the elephant in the room. In that case, happy new year, you guys. I hope you guys are all safe. And I will see you guys in the next video. If you guys have some extra things that you would like to add for this list, go ahead and drop it in the comments. Let me know so we can, you know, have a little banter. But in that case, I'ma see y'all later. Bye.